Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Pocket Mirror, where I am still stuck in a creepy attic, I think, full of dolls. So magnificent. The toys sit quietly, neatly lined up on the tall shelves. And, and that's a wrap. Okay, so mean little bitch girl from last episode locked me in here because, I don't know, she's crazy. Bitch cray as they say. So I have to try and find a way out of here. Hello, pumpkin. This place isn't so bad, right? I have so many friends here. It's a really pleasant place. I'm sure it is. Okay. What is this? It's that doll again. Which doll? Oh, that doll. Wait. Something is telling me that they used to be a person and they got turned into a doll? Or am I just thinking too ahead? I don't know. Hang on. Just gonna mess around with my... There we go. Where did it go? Mm, good question. Ah, oh, cute artwork. There was once a little witch who lived in the woods near town. She played all day long, casting spells and flying around. One day at the break of dawn, five girls headed to the forest looking for berries. Maybelle and Dorothy, sworn best friends, as close as two peas in a pod, both had received their blessings from God. The twins, Gilietta and Isabella, standing as the youngest and said, and yet said to be the strongest. Madeline was the town liar, who despite her mother's many warnings, insisted on playing with fire. Eventually they came across the little witch and beheld her wonderful magic. Mesmerized by the wonderful scenery, the girls asked the witch how she did it. Kind and nice as she was, the little witch gladly revealed her secret. It's all thanks to my magic wand. With this, you won't have to learn any kind of magic, she told them, brandishing the tool in the air. We can share it if you want. Each of you can have it for a single day before handing it back to me. Overwhelmed with joy, the five girls celebrated with excitement. However, you must not allow greed to tempt your young hearts. For if my wand is not returned, I shall burn the thief at the stake. And so, the little witch bid them farewell leaving the girls to partake of their magic. Upon her return, the magic wand was nowhere to be found. Infuriated by the girl's betrayal, the witch promptly sought out the culprit. She tied each girl to a different stake, threatening to burn them all if they dared lie to her. Who dared steal my most precious belonging? The witch asked the girls, to which they replied. Madeline did it! Dorothy always tells the truth! cried Maybelle. Gilietta is a liar! Maybelle stole the wand! screamed Dorothy. Dorothy's innocent! Isabella would never lie! pleaded Gilietta. Probably saying her name wrong, I'm sorry. Madeline may be a liar, but I know she didn't do it! exclaimed Isabella. You can trust Maybelle, I'm sure it was Gilietta who stole the wand! shouted Madeline. Whoever the culprit was, it said she was mercilessly burned to death, pleading for forgiveness until, until her very last breath. What a horrible story. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's the witch. Excuse me, was just drinking tea. <laughs> Who dared steal my most precious belonging? Um, not me, said I. Acquired a box of matches. You must now fulfill your fate, miss. Madeline did it, Dorothy. Always says the truth. Don't burn me, Belle. Wait, can I read the story again? Sworn best friends as close as two peas in a pod. 
the twins and Juliet and Elizabeth standing as Venus and Juliet said to be the strongest. Madeline was the town of liar who despite her mother's many warnings is the same thing as liar. And really martial magic. Mm. Madeline's a town liar. We can share it if you want, Adrian. You can have it for a single day. Uh, five girls, so really the excitement. So Madeline, Madeline may be a liar, but I know she didn't do it. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna have to read this again. So if she was the town liar, did she do it? Um, um, Dorothy always says the truth. Mabel stole Mabel stole the wand. Was it Gileata then? Who's that? Madeline may be a liar, but I know you shouldn't do it. Don't burn Isabella. You could trust Mabel, I'm sure it was Gileata who stole the wand. Um, Madeline did, Dorothy always says the truth. Gileata is a liar, Mabel stole the wand. Mm. How can I get to the one at the back? Dorothy's innocent, Isabella would never lie. Okay, so Isabella says Dorothy's innocent. Dorothy, it was believe it I'm saved thank you so much miss what wait what should I burn Dorothy hold on I don't actually know what pumpkin charm does. Okay. I just seem to be going around in a circle. Oh, uh, I don't know. Burn her. Okay. Divine punishment has been rightfully administered. Okay, I acquired a rusty key. Can I use the key? God, stop laughing in the mic. God. Right, okay. It's so dark. Sixty 
scissors? Take them? Maybe I could use this to get out of here. Uh. What's that? Oh. It's these notes again. You took my most precious belonging from me. It's only fitting I do the same. I wonder who could have written something like this. Don't know. Can I... There's hair coming out of this mirror. Okay. Can I get out of here? Do I cut the hair? Never mind. What was that? Uh... Hello? Was it something down here? Oh, nice. What do I do? I can't get out. Um. What do you want to get out for? I thought you were staying here with us. I, I'm not staying here. Please, miss, don't leave us. We need you, miss. No! You must stay. You're not allowed to leave. I have to leave this place. Oh my god. The dolls! The dolls! What? Holy shit! Holy shit! The dolls are after me! Oh my god. Dolls. <laughs> also, the noise she was making sounded really wrong, but okay. Load. Oh, my eye is watering. Okay. Okay. Leg it. Leg it. Can I attack them? Help! I need to cross over the other side somehow! No! Can I use the scissors to chop them up? Where's the planks of wood? Here? Oh my god. Leave me alone! Oh my god. I can't believe the rusty scissors worked. Oh my god. I don't like being chased by dolls. That's like my worst nightmare. What is this place? A white rook chess piece. Okay. This looks like the maze. Okay, I'll just save it first. You truly are special, miss. What do you mean, Mr. Pumpkin? Why don't you go and ask the princess? I bet she's dying to see you. I hope there's nothing literal, literal about those words, Mr. Pumpkin. I'm impressed. I wasn't expecting you to get this far. Mr. Pumpkin, where am I? Oh, I don't know, my girl. We could be anywhere. 
so helpful. All right. It's Fleta. What happened to these statues? The statue looks familiar somehow. What is this? Oh, fly. Fuck off. Sorry. <laughs> Get out of the way. Why is there a statue of me here? Musical chairs. Flutter. <laughs> Welcome back, miss. Fleta, I have to talk to you. Talk? About what? I need to know what's going... How did you get out of the attic? I... Tell me, miss. How did you escape? Fleta, listen to me, please! <laughs> Say, miss, will you play one last game with me? Fleta, please, no more games. Let's play my favorite game, shall we? If you win, I will tell you everything I know. If you lose, you probably already know what will happen. Do you promise? That you will tell me what's going on? Why, of course. Have I ever lied to you? Let's play now. Ah, oh, sit down near. Okay. By pressing A. Fuck, I better get ready. I mean, I'll try not to lose. I sucked at musical chairs. Okay. What? I didn't do anything. Oh. Hooray! Look, Eglia, I won! I won! I won! Fuck you, bitch. Fleta, what do you want, loser? Fleta, I... That will be Princess Fleta to you from now on. Understood? Fleta, don't worry, miss. Everything will be fine. And it will be all thanks to me, won't it, Egliot? Fleta, won't you at least tell me what's going on? That's not what we agreed on, is it now, miss? You won't have to worry about a thing. <laughs> Everything will be up to me from now on. You will finally be able to rest, won't she, Egliot? What? Wait, Fleta. What are you talking about? Oh, it's nothing, miss. Now come over here. Let us talk. No. Don't be stubborn now, miss. Everything will be fine. <laughs> All you have to do is trust us. Now come, let us be friends. No, this is wrong. No, I don't want to stay here. Now that's something horrible to say, isn't it, Egliot? Indeed it is. <laughs> there is nothing you can do to change our promise. Everything will be just as it was supposed to be. All you have to do is take a rest and leave everything to us. I am all you need, miss. Nothing can separate us. Not even mother's dirty lies. What is this? Um. I got the bad ending? Wait, what? Is it because I lost at musical chairs? 
That game was fucking rigged. Wait, no, fuck this. This is bullshit. I'm going back. Excuse me. Um, the fuck just happened? Right. No. Fuck this. I'm gonna win at musical chairs. Listen here, you little shit. I've got a bone to pick with you. Don't fucking laugh at me. I'm gonna win at musical chairs. You little fucking piece of shit. Okay. Break my screen. You can't break my spirit. Motivational speech 101. <laughs> Shut up. Yes, you've lied to me so many times and you're gonna fucking like cheat at this game. I know you are. I'm keeping an eye on you. The music didn't even stop as well. Like, I know how to play musical chairs and that's not how you play musical chairs. You're dead. I'm just gonna keep smashing A. Well, you're fucking dead. Okay, just keep smashing A. God, look at the fucking toys. And the music is shit. No, Mrs. Fox is dead. No, she's also dead again. Just keep smashing A. Just keep smashing A. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna win. Oh my god, she fucking- <laughs> She drop kicked that bitch! Oh, I hate this girl. I hate her so much. No! Okay, I know she's gonna fucking- Ha! Fuck you! Sorry. I win! I win, bitch! I win! I'm sure this will be enough, Fleta. Now please. No! I will not let you leave! You can't leave me! Fleta! Silence! Why won't you realize you belong with me? Can't you see? All of this is for you! And yet... Why won't you acknowledge me? Acknowledge you? You should have acknowledged my superiority by now. I'm not gonna let you go, miss. No matter what. No matter if I win or lose. Flata, I don't understand. Why should I be the one to disappear? What is it you don't understand? You wanted someone to play with, but you've never been my friend from the start. So why should I be the one in the wrong? Enough! Heckliya. What do you want? That is enough, Fleta. What are you saying? Don't interrupt me. You know this isn't fair, Eglia. Enough! No, this is not enough. Oh my god. What's going on? What's the matter, Egliot? Are you on her side now? You've been scolding me since she got here. 
What have you done to Egliot? Nothing. I didn't do anything. This is all your fault. Silence. Be quiet, Fleta. Don't you talk back to me like that. Listen, my most precious Fleta. Do you remember our most beloved garden? What are you talking about? Do you remember who you are, Fleta? Do you remember what I am? Egliot! It's time we stop with the petty lies, Fleta. Lies? What lies? Fleta, I don't know what you're talking about! It's time you free us from this cage, Fleta. No! Enough is enough. No! I'm no longer going to live in this farce. No! What are you doing? You don't have the right to do this to me, Egliot. Who are we, Fleta? I'm the princess. And you're the queen. Don't you make me lose my temper, you stupid doll. No! Stop that! I told you to stop! What's the matter, Fleta? Why are you crying? Please, Egliot! Egliot! Look around you, Fleta. Is this what you want? Was this how you wanted to be perceived? Egliot, that's... It's time to let go. I'm sure you understand. No, I don't understand. Stop saying that. You're scaring me. And what is there to be afraid about a measly doll? You're not a doll. You're the queen. Egliot, please stop lying. Truth is a virtue, which never had its place in this world, Fleta. It is time you let yourself go, my girl. Then how about you disappear instead? I'm not going anywhere. This is my kingdom and you're my queen. I command you to stay here with me. No, Fleta. I'm nothing but one of your lies. And that is what I will always be. Eglia, don't you dare say her name! There is no other way to deal with such egoism. I believe we are of the same opinion regarding our princess, are we not? Eglia, that's not... Egoism? She's the only one who cares only about herself! I'm afraid our time to part has come. It's a reason for you to be here, and Fleta is only but a small part of it, my girl. You know this just as well as I do. No! Hey, what are you talking about? She's not going anywhere! This isn't Fleta's dream, and neither is it mine. It's no use losing yourself in worthless dis delusions. Egliot, everything. You're to blame for everything. This is all your fault. Someone like you would know what it's like to be left behind. Someone like you. Someone like you should just disappear. Does she kill me? Oh. <gasps> oh, fuck. Please, I beg you, please keep Fleta close to your heart. Oh, what? <laughs> oh fuck, okay. <laughs> Fleta, he told me we were friends.
Oh shit. Okay, what's this? A collection of mirror shards rest scattered on the bed sheets, each and every piece devoid of reflections. Um, so I guess I can't go in here? Okay. I still want you to keep it, Fleta. Even if it's just an imitation. Oh, Fleta was a bitch, but... That was kind of sad. Okay, how do I get out of here? <laughs> oh. Would you like to save your progress? I would if I were you. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's go down this hole. A passage? Oh, it's another mirror. Hmm. Oh my god, I can see my reflection. And she's not even saying anything about it. Girl, this is exciting! You couldn't see your reflection for ages! Why are you not saying anything? Okay. So she doesn't find this exciting. I guess I'll just keep walking. Stop that! I don't like things in my mirrors. Things that shouldn't be there. Oh! Okay. Oh no. I guess I shouldn't keep walking. Or I shouldn't stop walking even. Just in case whatever it was just pops out and kills me. Uh, some of these mirrors aren't showing my reflection. Ah! The fuck? What's that? I don't like this place. Can I pick it up? No? Okay. Just keep moving. Just keep walking. Let's save the game. Um, excuse me? I like your outfit. I don't like your face though, but I'm gonna keep running. Oh shit! Oh, it fucked up. How dare you? Yes, I'm gonna load.
god, I hope this ends soon. What is this? Am I okay? Hello? Miss? Miss, please wake up! Oh, hello. Oh, she's cute. Are you all li are you all right, Miss? Got so tongue tied. She was that cute. Oh fuck! <gasps> Who are you? Please be careful. You shouldn't make any harsh movements. <sighs> Please don't be scared. I'm here to help you. Who are you, Miss? <laughs> oh, I apologize for not introducing myself. My name is Harpe. Maiden of pristine eyes. Wow. She's pretty. Again. <laughs> I'm... No, it's fine. I understand you'd still be scared after what happened earlier. But please, believe me when I say I'm here to help you. It's alright to trust me, miss. I... What is it? Who was that chasing me down earlier? She's a very ill child. She should not be trusted, miss. I'm afraid her intentions are rather harmful. I see. Please listen, miss. I'm going to protect you from any harm. You'll be safe with me. I can promise you that. Miss Harpe. Oh no, please. Just call me Harpe. <laughs> Let's go inside now, my child. I'm sure you're tired and probably thirsty as well. Let's go have some warm tea, shall we? <laughs> yes, thank you, miss. <laughs> you're still pretty hesitant, are you? I'm sorry. I just can't seem to calm myself down. It's all right, miss. I can assure you, you'll be fine. Come now, let's go somewhere more comfortable. God, I hope you don't turn crazy, Miss Harpy. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Harpe. Oh, I mean, Harpe. Um, please don't force yourself. Let us hurry inside. Yes. Please take a seat. Okay. I'm gonna sit here. I've been waiting for you a long time, miss. You have? Yes, I have. <laughs> Although, I do know it might sound strange. I... We've never met before, have we? Hmm. No, not like this. You may think of me as your guardian angel, miss. I will always be here to protect you. I still have so many questions. I'll try my hardest to give you the answers you're looking for. Then I... I can't seem to remember my own name. I was wondering if you knew what it might be. I'm sorry, miss, but that's not a question I don't have the answer to. I see. I'm sure you'll remember it soon. I can assure you everything will be alright. <laughs> Thank you, Harpe. You're so kind. Oh, that is because I care for you, my girl. Hmm. You have finally smiled. <laughs> Thanks to you. <laughs> that is the expression that fits you best, miss. I wish for nothing more than your happiness. And I'll do everything in my power to see you smile. <laughs> Thank you, Harpe. <laughs> I still have one more thing to ask you about. If that's all right with you, go ahead. Do you know of a girl named Fleta? Fleta? I don't think so, miss. Although, it does sound quite familiar. I see. 
Did anything happen? <laughs> oh no. I was just wondering if you'd heard of her. That's all. Hmm. Huh. Oh my. Time sure does fly by when you're entertained, doesn't it, miss? Yes, it does. You should drink your tea before it cools. Drink the tea. I will. Thank you, Harpe. God, I hope it's not poison. Oh, I almost forgot. <coughs> oh. Is everything all right? There is... What is it? What do you mean? There was something inside the teacup. I see. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I... I apologize, miss. No, no, it's alright, Harpe. I also overreacted. I truly am sorry, my girl. Is there any way I could ever compensate you? There's no need to compensate me, Harpe. I'm alright, and it wasn't that bad. But I... <laughs> Your tea was delicious. Thank you, miss. Actually, I have prepared something else for you. Oh, Harpe, you didn't have to. Yes, I did have to, miss. Today is a very important day. It must be celebrated. I just have a bad feeling. I made this for you, my girl. Oh, acquired Harpe's cardigan. I hope you like it. <laughs> this is so pretty, Harpe. Is this really for me? Of course. I made it myself, just for you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Harpe. You're welcome, miss. Am I gonna look pretty? It does fit you well. I'm so glad. Aw, <laughs> bless. It's very comfortable, too. <laughs> Thank you so much, Harpe. <laughs> you can stop thanking me, my girl. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll take good care of it. Thank you, miss. Well, then. I should go make more tea. You must be quite thirsty. Oh, no, I'm fine. Oh, no, I insist. I want to compensate you for what happened earlier. There's no need to, but all right. Now wait here for a little while. I'll be back soon. In the meanwhile, feel free to read some books. Thank you, Harpy. I don't know if it's Harpe or Harpy. I'm just gonna keep saying Harpe. I'm gonna save my game. Uh. Okay. I think this is a good place to end this episode. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next video. Never mind. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> uh... You know what? We're gonna ignore everything. And we're gonna go... Where did she go, actually? Yeah, we're gonna go into the kitchen. Forget I said anything. Was it up here? Hello, Harpe. Are you okay? Harpe. Harpe? 
Father, look! I drew this for you. Do you like it? Yes, of course. Now listen here, my girl. Do you remember what I told you this morning? Yes, Father. You must not pester me tonight, as I will be busy attending an important meeting. Understood? Yes, Father. Now resume your studying. You mustn't waste time doodling aimlessly. Yes, Father. Is there anyone else here? Uh... Is there anyone in there? Ugh, never mind. Now where did Harpe go? It's so windy outside. Um... Okay, never mind. I don't think I'm gonna find Harpe yet, so I'm probably gonna end the episode here and leave it on a little bit of a cliffhanger. We're just gonna go do that whole thing <laughs> again. So again, thank you so much guys for watching and if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>